Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring Thing. Today we're going to go through D's secret portal, which uh, you might remember he marked it on the map for us, which it's uh, just somewhere over here. And you don't need him to mark it on the map, by the way, you can just find it straight up if you come here by yourself. And just as a reminder, it was right there. That's where we picked up the Wondrous Flask, by the way. Um, we're probably not going to fight that guy right now, because he's a little bit obnoxious, but that's okay. Yeah, his quest line more or less just involves you giving him, what, 13 death root, Something like that? And, uh, well, now that that's done, you know, we are more or less done, but we will try. Remember, you ever told us about that dragon? See if we can't beat it up. We'll see how this goes. I've never fought this dragon the proper way. I've always cheesed him, but let's see how it goes, fighting him properly. And uh, yes, there is a trap in here, which I suppose I can show, can't I? The dragons in this game aren't too bad, though, for the most part. Oh, you know what? Maybe it was the other one. <laughs> there is a trap somewhere in these ruins, though, and it will teleport you. Fortunately, by the time I found that, I'd already been ensnared by another one, so I knew to try and escape. Although I was curious just where it would take you. Uh, you know, it's probably down there. Yeah, we didn't really come in here, did we? But... Ow. Ugh. Right, let's see if we can deal with this dragon. I think you can summon Yura to help fight the dragon. I could be wrong, though. If you can, it would probably be around here somewhere, but I may be mistaken. I might just be imagining it because he is nearby. Oh, you accelerated into me, Akil, you rude man. All right, what are you going to do, this one? Oh, you still hit me with that. That's okay. That's okay. You know, he is fire, so I don't know how effective this will be against him, but... Yeah, good. That's what we want. You know what? He doesn't have that much health. He should be fine to deal with. out of juice. Man, this is really good against him, huh? Ugh. Hulk. Ugh. Get your head down here. Ow. Alright, that was pretty easy, actually. You know, none of the dragons have really been too hard in this game. But the first time I fought him was in the network test, and he had so much health that I was like, oh man, this is an ordeal, an ordeal to deal with. And uh, I guess we go talk to Yura real quick, tell him that, hey, dragon's not too bad, just spam 
weapon art on him. I know they're not weapon arts, but I'm going to call them weapon arts because it's easier. Maybe his sign would have been here. I don't know. Either way, we didn't need it. Interestingly, some of these guys here, they are, they will say that dragon's name, Agil. I can't quite make out what they're saying. You know, I could probably just stand there, put my volume up and listen, but we don't have time. There's things to do, people to smash, people to slice and dice. Beautiful work, felling that dragon, and as such, there's something you might like to know. The heart you brought back. It's used in dragon communion. If you should find yourself overcome by hunger for the heart, yearning for its strength, then seek the decrepit church on the little island off the western coast. You must not forget, though, those who partake in dragon communion will one day shed their humanity, their hunger for dragon, their yearning. Only worsens until the floodgates burst. Unleashing eternal torment. The strength of a mighty dragon. Magnificent. But deadly. It's no surprise that dragon communion is ruinous. You must not forget, though, those who buy their hunger until the flood the strength. It's no surprise. Alright, well, now let's head into Lyurnia of the Lake. We'll uh, leave him right there. The second area, and uh, after we get in there, I suppose we could go the alternate way to Godric's uh, throne room, maybe? Perhaps, and uh, there's a statue of Godfrey, by the way, before his axe was broken. I really wish we could get that unbroken version, maybe like a DLC. Um, I don't think there's anything the other side. I'm trying to think, well, like, what's my favourite area in this game? I do like Limgrave. And I like Lyurnia. I don't know, I guess I like most of the areas that aren't poison swamps or Kaelid. Kaelid is kind of like a giant poison swamp, but Kaelid's just the worst, huh? It's very red. I suppose they needed at least one horrible area, though, right? What do we have here? Maiden, dear maiden, where are you? Take me grapes! Uh, those grapes are eyeballs. <laughs> mm, fantastic. And here we have... Lyurnia. The lakes. Unfortunately, it's extremely misty right now, so we can't see anything. That's the thing with these open world games. Sometimes you'll come out here and you'll have like the perfect weather, and you'll get this like amazing view. It is starting to clear up though. That's more like it. That's what we want to see. Whoa, that was very sudden. Area number two. Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata, and I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next, but when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty. Is a finger maiden. Many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Hmm. Well. 
She certainly <laughs> looks and sounds familiar, doesn't she? Um, yes, the Shabriri grapes are eyeballs that we will feed her. All part of the madness. So, her body's still here. So... Are they just completely different people then? It would seem like it. Will Hayata show up if Arena is still alive? I'm not sure. But, um, you know, we'll show you the, uh, the alternate route into Leonia too, real quick. You... Please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Oh, bless you. of gold tarnished. Traverse Rhea Lucaria, Glintstone Eventide, and reunite the half crescents at the Grand Lift. Oh, but the bridge is collapsed and cannot be crossed. Only why should that matter? Stormvale Castle still stands tall. You, you And despite the bridge being collapsed, well, that's really not going to stop us from getting through. Cookbook. And, um why you would come this way i'm not i mean if you really want to get to liernia quickly but i think for most normal playthroughs you'd probably just go through stormvale because i mean godric's great rune is the best one and i mean i'm sure there there'll be reasons but probably for speedrunners and for people who need a specific item and things like that I mean, it's nice to have the option, right? And it's, uh, it's something it took me, like, I didn't find this until pretty far into my first playthrough. And I was, I was pleased by what I had discovered. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the entrance back into Stormvale is kind of hidden, too. You can get there, but it's like blocked off so you can't really do anything there even if you pop up there Kieta's moved on the guiding light good to see you master do you uh, remember me the bok the demi-human you helped me before and retrieve my sewing needle. Please, Master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Master, I was wondering, do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would, well, rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. Oh, going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, 
I studied Flintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Well, bless you, bless you. You're a true saint. My name is Topes. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. Oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital, and the south gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active, making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer, with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the academy. And you'll never reach the Erdtree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps... Once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a blunt stone. Nary a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, my place is at the Academy. You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Selen was expelled from the Academy, accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. Find yourself without one, you can't, and you'll never reach the... Um, not too much to speak about in regards to that guy, but one thing which uh, you may find a little interesting, he is voiced by none other than the Crestfallen Warrior, who is uh, absent from this game otherwise, right? But you can find him there. Our, our good old buddy. None of that. And of course, if you have a holy weapon, these guys will stay permanently dead. Academy scroll. Get not something we're gonna need. But um that is Rhea Lucaria up there, aka Hogwarts. That area? Man. Me and my friends, we wanted to know how to get up this so badly. And it uh, it took us a while, but we, we got it in the end. So, man, now that we are here in uh, Lyernia, what do we do? Well, we get stuck in a tree for a hot second. Then, uh, then we show you the best shield in the game. Here's a little enemy camp. That's not a summoning pool. Oh well. I guess we can clear out this camp. Here we have our first look at the uh, Cuckoo Soldiers of Rhea Lucaria. Wow. A dog flew. Of course, you can stealth your way into this camp, which would be a smarter way to go about it, but... We'll go for a frontal assault, because this one's not really got anyone too strong hiding within. Yes, uh... Rhea Lucaria, there's quite a lot to talk about in there. 
the master were, well, the Carrion royal family were the masters. What? Oh, it's just the wolves going, never mind. But then eventually there was a sort of, I guess, a bit of an uprising. And the, uh, the Knights of the Cuckoo attacked the Carrion Manor. Most of them died there, supposedly. And this NPC sells the coolest looking shield in the game, in my opinion. That one, the kite shield, looks great. We're not going to buy it because we already have them, but... And you can buy the lantern from him too if you haven't got one. What does that have? Uh, nothing really useful. Estoc, good weapon. Now, I think... What should we do? Should we go grab the map? You see that thing? That's showing us where the map is. Maybe we'll go grab that real quick. How, how are we doing for time? Um... Yeah, okay, I think what we'll do is we'll grab the map. There we go. And now, ta-da! Of course, Leonia is a big place, so there's a couple of maps. Fortunately, I know where they all are. Now... There's one more little quest bit we can uh, continue whilst we're here. I just need to remember where it actually is. Somewhere over here. Actually, there's two. Oh no, the lobsters. Oh, they're the worst. I get very lost in this watery bit. Is Hieta again. She would want another eye. Which we don't have for her, but there might be one right in here, if I'm not mistaken. You see what he said there? From the darkness underground. What could that mean? We'll find out. I, I reckon there's one in this area, though. How? I need to be more careful, actually, because these dogs are the worst. I should replenish my Estus, too. Bulk. And uh, as, as with Limgrave, we'll only do things I consider important on camera. If I do any other dungeons, I'll just do them off camera. There are two dungeons here that I think are quite important, though off the top of my head. See, you can stand here, but if you could climb a little bit higher, then you would have a great sniping spot. Unfortunately, we don't, so we'll just... do it this way, the old-fashioned way. Oh, do you reckon I can get a twofer? I can. Man, that is... I've used that weapon art a little bit, but not extensively. And I was like, this is one I'm going to use in my Let's Play. It looks so cool. And it seems insanely good. I win that encounter, buddy. Now, here? Oh no, here rather well hidden, you might say, or not. Could this be the eyeball? No, two fingers heirloom, but there's the eyeball. I didn't read the other one, so maybe I should read this one. Yellowing oozing eyeball of the infirm. Ugh. Yeah, pretty disgusting. Then I think we would need one more, because I think she needs three, and then one special one. Hello? There's someone there. Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage 
in search of the distant light, and when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you... seem... somehow... firmer. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Her quest line is quite an interesting one. Now, what did I say we were going to do? Oh yeah, we had one, two NPCs to speak to. Uh, let's see if I can find them. I guess technically it's three, because one of them involves two. Do you remember when we spoke to Dialos in the Round Table Hold? And he was saying, oh, could you please find my, um, like, servant? Lanya, I believe her name was. Lanya. Oh, Lanya. It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Hello, friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refused to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refused to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. Oh well, it, it's been a long while. It's me, Patches the Untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Patches Emporium, now open in Rea Lucaria. By the way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, uh, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this, a surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. Or so I'm told. <laughs> oh yeah, great story, isn't it? I'll tell you as many times as you like. There's a surviving Iron Virgin at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. And I heard if you let yourself get caught in it, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Ur Tree. <laughs> to find it in your heart next time, eh? Mistress sent me off on an errand. 
but I was accosted by a ruffian. And now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only... He too is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home. Please. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? Ah, that necklace what you're after, is it? Mm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. You're a shrewd one, Chief. First, you hand me the runes. And don't try nothing, neither. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. Oh, piss off. What is it now? Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. If you can meet me price. I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too, if you've got the runes. Oh, so you met the girl, did you? All right, well, sod the particulars of the matter, but it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped, is it? Anyway, she ain't all right, that one. Look, she ain't died on the bloody roadside, I reckon. You're tarnished too, ain't you? Can you see it then? The guidance of grace, I mean. I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no-name shithead like me should get called to the lands between. Cruel bloody joke, you ask me. Maybe something went tits over with it. Maybe it's been broke for a good long time. The earth tree, I'm saying. Never met someone with a taste for brawn or contrust. We'd make good mates, I reckon. I'll be seeing you. Marika's tits. You must be hungry. Oh, yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya. In the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. I seek stalwart tarnished, who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Brave tarnished, seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most tarnished are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering earth tree. But you are no ordinary tarnished. And once that is proven, the volcano manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. Oh, and one more thing, only for you. This land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus, beyond the High Road. But the lift has been defunct for an age, meaning there's no simple means of passage. Instead, you must seek the old ruins in the cliff. At the base of the valley, near the Grand Lift, there's an old tunnel. It was excavated from both ends. 
linking Liania to the Altus Plateau. I have faith in you. A champion through and through. I do hope that we can meet again. Seek the old ruins at the base of the valley. It was I have faith. I do hope. All right. I think that'll do it for this episode. Do you remember what he said, by the way? The, uh, <laughs> prawn man? I believe his name is Boggart, or something like that. Do we see his name? Hmm. He does have a name listed somewhere, though. But yeah, he said he's not seen the, uh, the Guiding Grace for a while. It might be something a bit like going hollow in Dark Souls, where... If you lose your drive, your motivation, your willpower, then the grace abandons you. And there'll be more Marika um, dialogues from uh, Melina that kind of back that up a bit later on, I think. Uh, we'll get to them. Still, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Ciao.